I've cut out the background that I want for my shaker card and I don't know if you can see it on camera but I've just done a little bit of white heat embossing here with some plants. It's a very fine design because this is a quite a small area I don't want to cover it with too much on the background but what I do want to do now is to make that stand out so I'm going to watercolour it. I've got a number seven brush and I'm just going to wet the surface. If I was doing a larger surface, I'd probably just use a spray, but this is so small, it's not worth it to be honest. And I'm going to go for a relatively light blue to start with. And I'm just using my normal watercolor paints that I've got already diluted down. And I'm just going to put in the colour. Oh, that's nice. I like that colour. Like so. And I'm just going to dip into a different shade of blue, a darker shade of blue. Add that in. I've just got a piece of acetate on my work surface here. So if you can see it, that's what I've got there. And I'm going to use a little more of that, add a drop more water. There we go. And finally, I'm going to dip into a purpley colour and use that. I've just added a little bit of purple so far. And now I'm going to dip into the purple again and get it really deep purple up here. There we go. That's it. No more fuss. Done. I'm just going to check that I've got my bottom bit covered. And again, I'm going to go for the deep purple down here. So just in case there's a bit of mist. I did take the precaution of drawing an outline through the shape that I'm going to be putting on the top but uh, I've got my glasses I know this sounds really crazy I've got my glasses on and it's a question of <laughs> guesswork as to where the lines are to be honest <laughs> it's silly I know I'm gonna to have to see the optician again and get this sorted out it's causing me issues there we go so I need to dry that off or let it dry, one or the other. And once I've done that, I can start the assembly of my card. But please, if you're doing watercolours and you're making shakers, make sure it's well and truly dry before you go to the next stage because you'll find, although you may be able to temporarily stick everything together, if it's damp when it's put together, it'll come apart later. Take my word for it. So I've completed my shaker element. I've got my silver card, which is on the top. What I did for the adhesive was I cut out some double-sided tape. I put the tape onto waxed paper and cut it out in the same shape as the oval. So I then put that on the back to adhere the acetate because it is a very strong double-sided tape. And it means that once it's there, that's it. It's not going to move anywhere. I just used some clear sequins and some silver stars in here. And I put, I think it was only about three little uh, diamante things on the background as well. I've got two layers of card to raise it up slightly. And then, of course, I've got the actual back. So all that's just been sandwiched together as you would normally for a shaker card. I've got my front panel here, which has been watercolored in two shades of blue. And it also has water splashed over it and some little uh, pearlized splashes as well. What I did was I positioned my shaker and then I've drawn very, very lightly, I have drawn some pencil marks. Now I have here my sentiment cut out from silver card. 
And what I want to do is to place it around the curve. It was designed with a curve in it. So I will place it around like so. And then I will stick these down. But if I get them roughly in position to start off with so I know exactly how much space to put between the letters. And I just picked up one of the dots and dropped it. There we go, it's there. So I've just got a happy Christmas. I mean, it could be a birthday card or a Christmas card or anything really. It's not specifically Christmassy, except for the fact the colours look quite sort of wintry. So it could be a wintry happy birthday card, depending on what you want it to be. And so I will use those pencil lines simply as a guide for putting my letters down. Now, I'm not going to subject you to watching me putting down all these letters, sticking them down. I will come back when I've got that done. I've got my Happy Christmas sentiment stuck on now and I must admit I did use tweezers to place it because that makes life a little easier. And the other thing I've done is I used a soft eraser to rub out the pencil lines that I put in. It's not that they would probably be seen but I'd know that they were there. So I'm now going to use some fast drying wood glue on the back of my shaker to adhere it to the front panel and that will give me the ability to maneuver it a little bit if I don't get it quite right to start with. I'm going to stand up to do this and I think that will do the job nicely. I'm just going to press that down gently. Turn it over. Make sure I have something clean there. And press it down from the back. There we go. There's my front panel done. And I've got a duck egg blue, I think you'd call it, car to put this on the front of. But I want to raise that up on some craft foam. So again, I'm just going to lay this down on here to make sure I don't get it dirty. And now I'm going to adhere my panel with the double-sided foam tape onto the front. Now that I've stuck everything down, you can see the card is pretty much finished. But I'm just going to add whoops, a couple of gems if they don't all just disappear on me down on the floor. And I'm not going to add very many. I'm just going to add, whoops, dearie me, I've got escaping rogue gems here and just making sure that the adhesive is underneath. Quite often when you take these off of the strip, the adhesive has moved from underneath it to one side or the other. So you want to make sure that the adhesive is back under it. Make sure it is well stuck. And that is it. That is the completed card. So I hope you like it. I will link the file below. Thanks very much for watching. Take care now.